Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. <laughs> Today I have a lot of things to put away. So we're just gonna get started. I have some postcards, just 80s postcards, um, some Neil Song and 80s OT8 kind of stuff, and then some NCT things. So I'm gonna get started with my NCT stuff because they're is not as much. So let me just get my binder and then we will start moving along. Okay, so like I said, there aren't as many things for NCT, although I feel like most of them are uh, Jaehyun <laughs> items. Um, and part of like the OT9 Oh, this is like not enough space. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, so I got some stuff that goes in this kind of just Utah Hechan Jagan section, and then some stuff for my like OT9, OT10 section. So we are just gonna start from the beginning. So I believe I put everything in the order I wanted it to be in. Let me start off with this Empathy Jagan which goes up here. I would like to say I've made like a lot of progress on this collection. Um, we have Cherry Bomb, so these two were out of order, but whatever. Initially, I had like wanted this to be a slower collection, which in comparison to 80s, I guess it is a slower collection, and I think <laughs> I'm very glad that 127 does not have a comeback soon. Like, I know Dream, <laughs> I don't know what Dream is doing, but Dream is doing something soon, and they were like on music shows already for some reason. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's the typical thing <laughs> or if they're testing it out. But either way, it made voting for someone who is like actively promoting for an album that's out very hard, very difficult. Uh. But yeah, Dream's got some stuff. I don't know when 127 is supposed to have stuff. I think if I'm like remembering correctly. Some of them have to go to the military at the end of this year, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens there. But this is my like first full page. Like this is my sticker page completed. And I love that the backs are all organized. Love that. I don't know why I highlighted this one. I don't have it. Do I? Yeah, no, I don't have it on the way, so I don't know why I highlighted this one. Made a mistake, and now I have to live with it. Um, I also have this Hechan. I believe it's the international. Oh no. It's one of these. I'm gonna put it over here. Am I? Actually, we're gonna reference the, this. Okay. So this is the international photo book one, not DigiPack. See, it's good to have a printout. Ooh. Yeah, Dream has a comeback August maybe. I don't June. I mean July, August maybe. I still don't know why they were on music shows, but that's besides the point. Um these ones are all part of a set, so I'm gonna actually I don't have them here. Wavy is attending KCON. 
I'm not sure if Win-Win is going as well. I need to look into that. I didn't purchase KCON tickets because I don't know what my work schedule will be like. And also it was very expensive. <laughs> So that's that. We have this I think is B version chicken. And then B Hitchin potentially. Yeah. So as we all know, ATs is currently I think their last music show is actually to tomorrow like sunday um i'm pretty sure it's our last music show for I'm not sure if it's the whole era or if it's just the last one for bouncy um so i don't know but that's been going on i don't remember why i started that story <laughs> dang it We have Jungwoo, regular, irregular. This is irregular version. So we have regular here. I bought this set from Mercari and I have now had enough experiences to now know not to buy the first class envelope. Um, it is cheaper, yes but there is not a tracking and somehow it moves slower through the USPS system compared to like a forever stamp. Um, so I'll just pay for tracking on stuff because I bought this set with both of these Zomus and then also the Regulate, I think this is, yeah, the Regulate Zomu. And it was lost in USPS land. Um, and the seller was very kind and they had an additional set of Zomu on hand. So they um, sent me a new set of these cards and they arrived in like two days, like three days. So just a little warning for you all to be cautious of the shipping option for cheaper shipping on the Mercari. Because it sounds great. But if your stuff doesn't arrive and they can't track it because it's not like an actual tracking number and then it's not really worth it when stuff gets lost. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, my orange page. It's coming along. Back to questionable. No two baddies purple. <clears throat> but we do have a yo stuff. This is like so shaky. I'm sorry. So we have Johnny. I remember why I started that story a while ago. <laughs> um, 80s has been like currently in the middle of promotions their last stage is sunday so tomorrow um and i have not been able to buy or really have the energy to search through the nct tags also instagram updated their platform and now you like it doesn't show tags in recent order um there's two categories, the top liked posts and then the top liked recent posts. And I don't know how recent their recent top like posts are. Um, like I've seen stuff from like the past six days in the recently liked top liked stuff. Um, so it's been frustrating to try and find stuff for 80s and I don't even want to dive down the NCT tag for that right now but 
this is what we're working with. I should, I'm gonna take these out right now because I'm not collecting the S mini set or the pink set or the outside green set. So I just threw those away and these will be used as little note cards. Okay, move some of this out of the way. I feel like there's gonna be like a crashing sound and it's just gonna be the stuff from my desk falling over. Okay. There's quite a few things, but not all of them belong in this binder. Only a few of them. A few. <laughs> okay. So these ones. I've made some changes. I believe I'd mentioned something about the pages and them being like foggy and cloudy. Um, so I did switch everything pre-outlaw into the Hobby Lobby pages because they are clearer um, and they fit like the stuff doesn't slide around in them. So just so you know, I did switch those pages up. Let me see if I can zoom in yet. It's still not great. We'll try this. Their heads might be cut off. Hmm. But yeah, so I switched to these pages for everything pre-outlaw. And then for the Digipack posters, I just moved them into regular pocket protectors because I thought that they would um, be a little bit closer in size to these Hobby Lobby pages, but they're still a little bit long. And then I didn't want to mess with all of the fillers in here, so for now, I will just put all of the Outlaw themes into these, um, the Andy Jack A4 nine pocket pages, just because that's what everything's been set up as. And then once I have majority or all of the cards that I intend to collect and put in this binder, and I'll switch over to the other pages to make it more uniform. Um, and this will also be a test <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. So I believe this is all A version. Yelson is green, Sankwa is pink. Hongjun is blue. So we're just gonna put these away like this. I will be collecting the Sprout set instead of the Digipack set or a, instead of a Digipack set for OT8. So that will go in this binder once I have everybody. At this point in time, I only have Yuno, Yosong, and I think Wuyang. I'm pretty sure um, those are the only three I have, so I'm in the process of trying to trade for some other members for the scrap set. So when that happens, I will move these three over onto the Digipack page, and then stuff will have to shift around. But for now, this is what the A page is looking like. Then we have the diary open spread. <laughs> and for diary, I now have four units, woohoo. So I have one unit for each grouping and there's four units per grouping, which is honestly a little bit mad. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I'd like to set this up. <clears throat> like, I'm not sure if I wanna do These are gonna be blanks. These top left, bottom right corners are gonna be blanks. So I don't know if I wanna do like, Songhua, Hongjun, Yuno, Yosong, or if I just wanna do like, here is a unit for everybody. And whoever's on the left, a 
although I'm not sure about Hong Jung's unit. I'm not sure if their positioning changes. Like I don't know if there's two where Jung was on the left and two where Jung was on the right or if it's four with them in this setup. I cannot recall. Um, I don't know. Um, but for now, I guess I'm just gonna put them right in the middle because that makes the most sense. And then they won't get all damaged. So I'll put some of those here. And we'll do Hong Chung's next to him. And at some point, I think when I switch my pages over so that they're consistent, um, I want to put it front and back so I just flip a page and it's like this instead of how it is now where A is on the front and then the back is empty and then you see the backs and then it's open. Um, number one, because I, I don't like the way it looks when it's like that. Um, I think it's too much just like empty space and it's a break that's not really needed. And number two, I don't have a lot of space left in this binder. So <laughs> if I can cut down on the number of pages I use to make it a little bit, to give me an opening for another page some point later, that would be great. Um, but for now, we got four units. Uh, I think I have one incoming, but I don't, I don't know for sure. So there's diary. And then we have this punch diary and the digipacks. The problem is though, I mean, I guess everything's gonna switch around, but these are all red, like red hair Hong Jung, right? So I'll need to reorganize, but I think it will be helpful to reorganize once I've actually, once I have more things <laughs> so that I can really see and get a sense of like, what is, what are we working with? So I don't know what's been going on. Bouncy got five wins. It would have been six with show champion, but they canceled it. I don't know why. Um, and then there was also something with NCT Dream. <laughs> Like again, I don't understand why they're promoting when there is no album out yet. <laughs> like it's not, it, I think it would make more sense if they, like they're promoting June 20th or whatever, like cool, go on the music show, whatever. If your album is gonna come out the following week, right? Like that makes sense, get the hype. Not that they really need the hype because it's NCT, um, but, and it's NCT dream at that, like just to add to that, but um their album doesn't come out until august <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing um c version no why are there three okay we're gonna leave this blue one in no we're not it's gonna be bread why did I set it up like this? It looks weird. But yeah, we've done a good job <clears throat> for voting this time. Um, like for polls and stuff. We're still struggling for M Countdown. But given the history. <laughs> It makes a little bit of sense. It just is unfortunate. 
And then digitals, we're not gonna talk about it. I have my, have my bugs account running right now still. And I don't understand how they won yesterday. I mean, I do, I, I, I understand how they won. Um, but it was really sad to see that they won and we were up against 17 and obviously obviously they had a lot of uh digitals and then 80s only had seven digitals and it's just like God. and then kate's need to get the fan meetings it's a whole thing twitter like when this is over when like comeback is officially done and there's nothing to really focus on I'm anticipating Twitter will be a bit of a mess because the fires have started during comeback and I think we've been pretty good about noting that down and not addressing it at this point to keep everybody focused. But once comeback's over, everybody's going to circle back to what has been happening <laughs> and Katie and their digitals and participation is a big it's a header in the outline, if that makes sense. I have some, some, I have, oh, dang it. Okay, I'll go back, I'll go back. Um, I, it makes sense to just move into the OT8-esque section. Um, so these past two comebacks, I've just collected two album cards for each member, right? So two, two, just my two favorites, and then, and the story. If you all had saw, um, I pulled like four jungles and I could not, I can't. Like, come on look at that so i've decided i'm gonna collect four <sighs> between now here's the thing i'll collect four additional cards between the photo book one that we can get in the u.s and the platform one like so between all the 800 cards right between versions um i will just collect four and then i'm also getting the units um, for everybody, so I don't have to worry about that. And then, if there's something I don't have, there's something I don't have, and that's okay because I will have picked, I already did pick my four favorites for each member. Um, and then, as we all know, I do collect Hong Jung Song on top of your son as well. Um, but I'm trying not to collect pobs for them. However, I did pull, let me switch these. I did pull their target ones, their target digipack pobs. Um, I was like, yeah, we're gonna keep these. So I will just pick one more Songkla and one more Hongjung to fill this page out and then that'll be my well, that'll be my first page for Hongjung Songkla. This you know needs to go in the other binder. Whoops. Hongjung Songkla, you know. Yo Song I collect. Son, I just have his bread card. So it'll go here for now. They've done so many lucky draws for this era. Like it's not, it's not really funny. <laughs> um, the amount of lucky draws that they have done 
and I've tried to do my best. Um, one of these is not the correct one. I think this one. So I had this mingi in my box because I thought like they look fairly similar, but it's the A version one that I intend to collect. I also don't know if this Digipack Mingi is those Mingi that I intend to collect either, but I'm gonna put them in here for now. But I would like to say I've done, compared to movement, compared to Gorilla Era, I've done an amazing job at not joining Ghost. <laughs> this is my other sprout guy that I gotta put in the other binder. And then these jungles. So I'm gonna put this here. And we'll do it like this. But yeah, I'm just so worried about if I don't if I don't buy it now then after come back that same card that I could have claimed for $18 because it's a lucky draw is gonna be $50 because it was a lucky draw and then people saw the previews and everybody decided they wanted it so then the sellers are gonna be like let's increase the price because so many people want it like I don't really I don't like that aspect of <laughs> collecting um and that puts you in a sticky position because it's true you don't need everything right now because you will eventually find it all but if i wait until later is it gonna be three times as much yes So, was there, there, you'll see, um, and if I can maybe throw up my, like, on the way highlight, I'll show you all, it'll be like over here, I think, maybe. Um, if I, you'll see that there was a portion, there was a period of time of drops when it was just like, I felt like I needed to get them, claim somebody, or claim at least one claim um because i was like if i don't there's gonna be nothing and your song's gonna be 55 dollars later for this one card which you might think is not canon but it's he is he's they're changing his pricing as we speak Okay. So yeah, anyway, long story short, I haven't done a lot of claims for things because I'm trying not to have Gorilla Part 2. Um, at the same time, I, I, did, I did claim some things. <laughs> Nothing outrageous. I don't think I- I don't recall claiming more than I would need to pick a yo song like for gorilla i picked up extra claims so that sets could be filled so that i could secure your song but i'm not doing that this time i think i just claimed one or two or four or however many it takes to get the set of whatever the cards are um and then most of the goes are sorting sorting forms so the only thing that's left is K proxy luck in trading for even sets and if they didn't or weren't able to then it's just up to me to finish the sorting form expeditiously but you may be wondering you just got your prism platinum and you're done using it no um, my Japan merch second Yosong binder for non-Korean pobs was very full. 
So I decided to move everything into my present platinum so that it now has space to grow as well. Um, so I just moved this keychain that was in my movement spinoff, green album pop binder, little A5 one. And here I taped this, <laughs> the cover that was previously in the other binder to this divider. Not sure how I like it, but it'll probably stay. And then I also added um, categories to the indexes so it's easier to find. So we have the first one, which is concert PCs, which should have, in hindsight, I should have just written concert slash DVDs, but I was not thinking clearly. Um, and so the things that I have to add for this one are these soul concert themes so we have this guy the sound check card also i'm i'm hoping that so i don't typically add i don't think i add stuff to this binder as frequently as the my like your song korean album pop binder um so I'm hoping that even though these binder pockets, these pockets are for the tour DVD or tour PCs, which are really big. Um, I'm hoping that these all won't slide around as much because I'm not constantly transporting it back and forth, opening it, closing it, blah, blah, blah. So that's that. Ooh, the back. The only problem is I don't have any of the Prism Platinum um, one pocket or two pocket pages. So what I've been doing is just taking my, uh, what are these called? One pocket and two pocket pages and just hole punching a hole in the middle so that I could add the larger stuff. Um, I do need to do that right now though. Let's see if I have any more. I don't think I do actually. So this one came with the sound check card. This is the sound check postcard. And then for the photo set. Oops. So this postcard came with this Z balloon guy. And then they all look fairly similar. Um, then these four postcards came with the other three cards on this page. So these three for the photo set for the ink concert. And I am very glad that the merch deals for the upcoming. Um, C concerts. I think that's it. Just the C concerts. Um, I'm very glad that the merch stuff is all the same. Because uh, I didn't really want to fight for it. I don't have enough one pockets. Okay, so somehow I gotta order more uh, four pockets. I mean, one pocket pages. But for now, I guess I will move this. Hmm. So that's that on that um i also had oh, that's unfortunate i also have the welcome kit postcards and these are definitely too big for a two pocket page but i'll go just go through them with you all so you can see them
And then the other card that I have is this one, which is the KCON Japan 2023 card. I hope that wasn't blurry the whole time. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, but the KCON 2023 Japan card. I'm not quite sure where I want to put this because it's not... I don't feel like it fits in this concert category because it's not a solo concert. Um, but it's also not a merch collab. Maybe, maybe it's a merch. Maybe I'll put it with the merch deals. Also, you're probably wondering uh, why are the MMTs here? It's because they don't fit in a six pocket. <laughs> um, because without the Japan MMTs, um, there are six Treasure Era MMTs. And that fits perfectly in my other binder now. So I had to move these over. And there wasn't this, like a different category that they fit under that I would be expanding. So, I mean, maybe japanese comebacks but even still that's not really it so i just put them here because they like kind of flow with the page um as far as this guy i just put him into a sparkle sleeve for the back so that it stays consistent um okay what if i do this one thought at a time I think you all see the vision, but... Oh, perfect. It's yellow and blue, just like the photo book stuff. So that'll look nicely on this page. So let me get another... Now back to this, I want to move this so that I have an open pocket page, that way the last two postcards can go in the concert section. There's that. It's been an hour, oh my god. Okay, so yeah, this is a little bit too long to fit in a two pocket, definitely too tall. So I'm just going to fold him backwards and hope that he lives. Okay, we are going to put this guy in here and hope that he's fine and that he'll flatten out because he's too bulky. And then we're gonna put close up the song on the front and then far away the song on the back so that the distance grows further as you flip through. like it's my favorite. <laughs> have some stuff coming in for uh, outlaw trades but most of it is 
has already arrived so i don't know how much more mail i'll be receiving i don't know when the next one of these will be um i don't know when my ghost stuff will come in like there's a lot of i don't know what's happening but when i do have something i will definitely come back um and we'll chat anywho thanks for sticking with me hope you have a good weekend have a nice summer um it's starting to get warmer here so make sure you all have your water stay hydrated get in the shade you don't want heat stroke it's not fun and i will catch up with you all at a later later date bye